friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of April. If you are new, the TBR takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread TBR from, well, I don't know, last year. In the beginning of 2019, it was 240 unread books. I don't remember what it was that started with this year. But at the beginning of April, it was at 186 and we're trying to go somewhere to like 50. There's no time goal for trying to get to 50. I tried that before, it didn't work. We're just trying to go to 50, so let's move on. If you've been watching the TBR takedown from the original inception, this video is gonna be super fun for you because I think this is like the most crazy amalgamation of books that I have ever done. I have a fairly decent sized haul, I have a fairly decent sized red, I'm also doing an unhaul this month, and I know what the end numbers are and it's hilarious. I hope you guys are ready to get into this. It's gonna be a super fun time. As previously stated, my starting number for the month of April was 186 physical unread books on my shelves. As always, I start with my purchases for the month. This is also kind of my book haul. Uh, let's go through those. The first book is Song of the Dead. This is by Sarah Glenn Marsh. It is the follow-up to Reign of the Fallen and it is, I believe, the concluding novel. I think it's just a duology. The series itself follows a girl named Odessa who lives in a world where there are five different main types of magic and Odessa is a necromancer which means she can raise the dead and in their world when you raise the dead um, you shroud their entire body so that you can't see their skin because if a human sees their skin, if a living human sees their skin, then they turn into like a shade which is a creature that will eat you and kill you. Maybe not in that order and it follows Odessa and her fellow necromancer as they're trying to figure out what's going on in their kingdom because it seems as if someone is releasing shades on purpose and having them attack the masses. The next book is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I got this as an early release. I had fully intended to read it before now but I haven't so hopefully I get to that soon. This book follows January who is a romance writer and Augustus, their names are January and August, holy crap, and Augustus who is a literary fiction writer and they were rivals in college and January goes on this vacation to kind of get away to finish writing her book that she's having some trouble with and it turns out that Augustus is staying in the cabin next to hers and so they kind of have already had this rivalry in their past and they are there now and both of them are kind of struggling to get their writing done and so they decide to swap genres for a bit. It's a rom-com. It's gonna be a fun time basically is where I'm going with that. Not to be confused with the aforementioned Reign of the Fallen, Fate of the Fallen by Kel Cade. This is the first book in a new series. This book follows Mateus and Aslo as Mateus is the chosen one and it is his job basically to save the world and Aslo who is a forester which is someone that really never leaves the forest chooses to leave the forest to go on this journey with Mateus and just this whole world opens up of characters and places that Aslo has never seen and it becomes just like this really begrudging task of his for him to do but he will do it because him and Mateus are brothers in all things. Next are two books by Jane Harper. I have Force of Nature and The Lost Man. Force of Nature is a follow-up to The Dry which I read earlier this year and The Lost Man is a separate story. The Dry follows Aaron Falk who is a detective who studies like money forensics and he is called back to his hometown because his childhood best friend and family has been murdered and it revolves around this murder and trying to figure out what happened to present day his friends but also in the past they had a friend of theirs that was murdered as well and it follows her death trying to figure all of that out. So it solves two murders in one and this is its sequel. And to be completely honest, I don't know what The Lost Man is about. I just bought it because it was book outlet, it was cheap, and I really like Jane Harper's writing, so I figured, why not? The next two are books that I have read earlier books in the series and maybe even have more books in the series, but I was on book outlet. I was like, sure, why not? So the first of which is Nightmares the Lost Lullaby by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. The first book follows a boy who lives in this house 
with his father, his younger brother, and his stepmother. And he believes that his stepmother is an evil witch and that she is plaguing the town with nightmares coming to life. And it's a super fun story. I really enjoyed it. I have the second book and I believe this is the third book, but I make no promises. So uh, I really enjoyed the first book, like I said, and so I wanted to continue on with the series. This book outlet, I was feeling down. A lot of these are from book outlet because I was in a depression spiral and I needed to buy things. So that's how life works sometimes. The other is also by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller, but it is Other Life, which is their YA series. I have read Other World, which is the first book in the series. The second book in the series is Other Earth, which I haven't read yet, but now I have two and three, so I can finish the series. This is very small for a third book in a series, which is kind of scary. At least that means it's gonna be a short read. It's under 300 pages, so. And then we have Grave Maidens by Kelly Kuhn. I had an arc of this that I never read. I have 100% intended to read it. I just don't like reading on my phone. Now when we get to the wrap-up portion, you're gonna yell at me because I was reading on my phone. Grave Maidens follows a girl who lives in this world where the emperor of their town is, the emperor of their kingdom, rather, is going to die. And because he's going to die, he needs to have wives to be buried with him. It's this whole thing that people have done for millennia because when a man dies, you need a woman to be buried with him. Because what if he's alone in the afterlife even though she's perfectly healthy? You know. So her younger sister is chosen to be a grave maiden for this emperor who's dying and she doesn't want her little sister to die even though her sister thinks it's this great honor. And so she goes into the the, the kingdom and tries to save the king's life so that he doesn't die, so that his sister, her sister doesn't get killed. It's a whole thing. The cover is beautiful. I completely intended to read this when it was an arc. I suck at reading arcs, so hopefully I'll read it now that I have a physical copy and it's actually hurting my list. The next book is three books. I bought uh, Mercedes Lackey, The Arrows Trilogy, Arrows of the Queen, Arrows Flight, and Arrows Fall. I am counting this as three books for my total. Uh, Mercedes Lackey, I, I don't know a whole lot about her personally. I don't know if she's one of those authors that have been around forever that has a lot of really big issues. If she is, please let me know in the comments below. I previously read her Hunter Trilogy, which is Hunter, Elite, and Apex. I loved those. That is like one of my favorite dystopian fantasy worlds of all time. Loved it. Nothing else that she has written, though she has written like 120 published stories, has ever been written in that world. And this is the beginning of a different world that she wrote, I think in the early 80s. This was copyrighted the year I was born, 87. I don't know what it's about. I didn't like read that. I just know it's like old timey, kingdoms, royalty. That's all I got. Maybe I do research, maybe not. I don't know. And then the next three books that I'm hauling, which are the last three books that I'm hauling, do not count because I have read them before. They are books one, two, and three of the Harry Potter series. I have never had books one and two in hardcover because I started reading at book three. So I had book three in hardcover as a kid and then all the rest sequentially as they were released in hardcover. And one and two I bought in paperback when I was mistakenly read book three thinking that it was the beginning of a series. But that's not my fault. I was like 12. And at some point I lost book three. I don't really know when. I picked up a paperback coffee, a copy of book three at some point. So I've had paperback copies of one, two, and three for probably longer than a decade. The copies of one and two that I have are probably 20 years old. That gives you any indication as to how old I am. Just told you what year I was born in five minutes ago. I've been wanting to get hardback copies forever so that they would all match and would be the same height. And then I was like, well, a new copy is like $26. It's ridiculous for a new hardback copy of like the old style covers that would match the covers that I have. I could buy like a used copy for four or five dollars that doesn't have a dust jacket. And I also purchased from Nerdy Ink these really amazing beautiful covers. I'm probably going to do a video on these as well of just the covers themselves and how incredibly beautiful they are. There's a lot of details in these and a lot of just really fun things. I really enjoy these covers. I went ahead and bought those. I probably saved a little bit of money, but also I got these super cool covers that I love. I'm okay with it. It's okay. So one, two, and three of Harry Potter do not count. So if you were counting, and why would you? Because I do it on the screen for you. I purchased 11 books that count. So let's go into my reads for the month. I do not go over these in full detail. If you would like to see my 
full reviews for all these, I will link my wrap up video in the description box below as well as in the cards so that you can check it out there. We're just going to quickly go through the books that I read this month. Some of them count, some of them don't, but I go through all of them just so you don't have to wonder if it counts or not. Extra fun note, these are almost always listed in the order that I read them in, whereas my wrap ups are in order of rating. Why? I don't know. My reads were Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh, Fate of the Fallen by Kel Kate. Yeah, that was confusing for me too. The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston, Baby Mine by Kennedy Fox, which does not count as it is an ebook, Wake by Mayla Hawking, which also does not count as it was an ebook, Baby Yours by Kennedy Fox also does not count, Forever Yours by Kennedy Fox also does not count. Remember earlier when I said that whole thing about I don't like to read ARCs because I don't like to read on my phone and yet I managed to read four books on my phone this month. These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling and Song of the Dead by Sarah Glenn Marsh. With all of my ebooks that I read this month, which I'm not gonna lie, I've been loving those Kennedy Fox books, so I don't even care. With all of my ebooks that I read, counting the books that I actually read that count as coming off of my TBR, it was a total of five books. If you missed last month, I did a TBR tour. So I did a tour of all of my unread TBR shelves, which I will link in the description box below and in the cards if you'd like to check that out. I thought about some of my choices, things that I have bought in the past that I have read like the first book or two of in the series. I just haven't loved them enough to pick up the next book in the series and quite frankly I really didn't like some of them. So I decided that I was ready to let go of some of them and kind of give up the idea that I needed to read them because they were popular or that I needed to read them to say that I had finished the series or I needed to read them because they were so and so's favorite books and I wanted to enjoy their favorite books but I'm not enjoying them and I'm just putting off reading them and it's just making my house and my bookshelves be even more cluttered than they already are. So I chose to do an unhaul this month. So let's get into that. Let's go through the easy ones first. Books one, two, and three of Harry Potter paperback because I, I don't need them. Like, do I have nostalgia attached to them because are they the original books that I owned as a kid? Yes. If I had all seven of them in paperback, I would keep them all seven in paperback and have the seven hardbacks because we all know from my love of Cassie Clare and Susan Denner that I do that, but I don't need them. That, that's my life decision. They're gone. Boom, gone. Now some of the harder choices. Well, are they harder choices though? So I read the first book in the Shatter Me trilogy, quadrilogy. It's a septilogy at this point. I don't know. I read the first book last year, year before. I don't know. I think I read it in February last year, actually. I didn't like it. I already owned these. So I was like, no, I'll just, I'll read them. It, why not? I'll, I'll just read them because I already own them and I should just go ahead and read them even though I'm not loving the story. I should just go ahead and read them. But I'm not going to do that to myself because I'm never going to pick these up. I'm, I'm never going to say, hmm, what do I want to read this month? Oh, I know. Let me pick up that book series that I didn't like and finish it. Who would do that? That's stupid. I'm getting rid of these. So I'm getting rid of Ignite Me, Unite Me, and Unravel Me. Again, I know that they're people's favorite book series of all time but I'm 33 almost and I just can't be bothered to read shit that I'm not enjoying, whether you loved it or not. This next one kind of breaks my heart a little bit. I'm gonna stand by this decision. Last year, I read the first book in the Shiver trilogy by Maggie Steve Otter and I fucking loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was amazing. Um, like it wasn't the most original plotline ever, but I loved the story loved it. Book two, hated it. Hated it so much. It was boring. It was dry. I don't know why the fuck we were here. I hated it. But guess what? I already owned books two, no, books three and four. I think this is three. This is four. It's a trilogy, but there are four books. You tell me how that's possible. I don't know. My point is, is that I was like, you know what? I didn't enjoy book two. In fact, I hated book two. Let me see if I should continue reading. So I made the smart decision to go online and look up reviews of people that I trust and had read the entire trilogy. And 97% of those people loved the first book and hated everything else. 
And so for me, I don't think it's worth it to continue on because I really did not like the second book. And I have talked to some people about what happens in the third book and I know that it doesn't take the route that I want it to take. Therefore, I'm not going to enjoy it. They're going and I'm going to live with it. I'm making this decision. I'm living with it. Will I read more Steve Otter in the future? Absolutely. Will I read more Tehada Mafia in the future? Absolutely. And then the last two are, and it's kind of a weird thing. It's kind of a me thing, not a book problem. It may be a book problem, I don't know. It's mostly a me problem. I am unhauling Scythe and Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. If you can't tell from this giant pink bookmark, I read about half of this. I put this down in September or October. I haven't picked it up again since. I have no interest to pick it up. I don't know if it's because I read the entirety of this book up to the point that I'm at in the oncology department of the hospital with my sister and so I just don't want to return back to that part of my life or if it's just because I'm not interested in the book. But either way I'm not picking it up. I'm not interested anymore. I don't really care about the story. My point is I'm never going to pick this up again. I'm getting rid of both of those. That was seven books that I'm unhauling. Math time. I started with 186. I hauled 11. I read five. I DNF slash unhauled seven which is 12 which means my new number for the beginning of May is 185. Did I not tell you this would be the craziest, the craziest TBR takedown to date? A, I just had to talk to you for 20 minutes trying to explain why I'm getting rid of books, even though the reason is because I don't fucking want to read them. That's the reason. There's no other reason. It's just that. And I hold 11 books. 11 books. I only read five books that counted because for some reason I went on a Kennedy Fox spiral of reading ebooks, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. I love those books. They're great. I sent them to my friend. She's read more than I have now. Basically what I'm saying is that April was a wasted time. It wasn't a waste of time actually. It was a fun time. I'm not doing as good as I want to do on my challenge. I did still go down and I did buy a lot of books and spoiler alert, today's May 2nd. I've already hauled three books for May. So <laughs> May's not going great either. Guys, guys. I think part of the reason why I'm not doing as well as I could be is because I am reading a lot of books for book clubs that I am either not purchasing at all and just reading the book or I'm purchasing the book and then reading it. So it's basically null and void. And you know what? I think I'm, I think it's the experience that I'm enjoying. I think I'm enjoying reading books with other people and getting to discuss them with them and I'm having a fun time doing that. So I think the experience of that aspect is worth it to me to not be chopping the crap out of my unread TBR. Now like last year and the year before where I was just hauling like 40 books a month and only reading like two or three, that's a problem. Right now I think what I'm doing is working. I think I'm typically bringing in a smaller number of books. This month was a little crazy, but I did read two of the books that I hauled this month. So that's not horrible. I think I'm doing better. I think. You let me know if you think I'm doing better or if I'm just trying to justify this as me doing better. Be my therapist. Tell me what I need to hear because somebody needs to tell me what I need to hear. Anyway y'all, those are the books that I hauled and read this month and unhauled this month. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these, if you think I'm crazy, if this was like the most wild TBR takedown you've ever seen. Let me know all of that in the comments below. I would love to talk to you guys down there about all of these wonderful books. Also, if you do not already follow me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? I do updates of my reading on Instagram in my Instagram stories. Kind of, sort of, daily-ish. I make updates. I make funny little stories and talk about what I'm reading and, and make jokes. I'm a funny person and you should be following me on Instagram if you're not. It's linked down below in the description box right down there. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos. Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!